What is up, y'all? It's your boy Dave. As promised, I'm back with a second video. So this time, I picked up some games from the Game Over that's in my neck of the woods, Adam Webster, um, GameStop, uh, Lukey Games, which was supposed to be delivered today, but I seen it was at the post office already yesterday. So I said, fuck this shit. I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to go pick it up. And, um... Got some games from Games Plus out in Katy. And I did one little Facebook pickup. So let's just get right into what I got from Game Over. I only picked up four titles. They were like between four and no, five and six bucks each. Uh, stolen. Armed and Dangerous, Alter Echo, and Gun Metal. So that's what I picked up from Game Over. From GameStop, I ended up picking up Armored Core 4, Mercenaries 2, World in Flames. Zocom, Enemy Unknown, Jumper, Two Worlds 2, and this game, I know, bro, Dario, you were trying to get it before, you said you seen a Game Posh, and you probably seen the other game stops or whatever, but you just never pulled the trigger on it. I was the same way, I finally pulled the trigger on it myself, only paid 11 bucks plus tax, but uh, ended up getting Dragon's Crown. So that's what I got from GameStop. From Games Plus, I paid between three and five bucks each game. Some games for three, some games for five, and then, you know, tax. I picked up Rayman Arena, Robotech Battle Cry. Again, Dario, this is the game I was talking about that you and I both end up getting this weekend. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit. Picked up a Test Drive Off Road. Call of Duty 3. Bullet Storm, Epic Edition. Now, this game, I see at GameStop all the time. It goes for like 15. 20 bucks on a, I guess you want to say a good day. I don't know. To me, that's a bad day because that's a lot of money that I don't want to spend. But I actually seen this for three bucks at Games Plus. So I went on ahead and hopped on it. I've been trying to get it. I have a digital download, but I prefer the physical copy of it. So I got Just Cause 2. Again, the sticker's on there. You see it? Three bucks. That's what I paid for it. That was awesome. Okay, from Lukey Games. I got quite a bit. And let me see, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 games. And I paid like 68 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. Each game was like under $4 or right about $4. So it was pretty good. For the PlayStation 1, I picked up Machine Head. And Rascals. For PlayStation 2, I picked up Sky Odyssey, Bombastic, or Bombastic, Bombastic, Spy Hunter 2, Dragon Rage, Savage Skies. Soccer Mania, Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, and Jimmy Neutron, Attack of the Twonkies. That's all I got for the PS2. I got a couple of Xbox original games, only on Xbox games. Drive for Life. Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. 
In Outlaw Golf, nine more holes for Xmas. And finally, I got some Sega Genesis games. I picked up Power Monger. Last Battle. Super Thunderblade. And Rings of Power. So that's what I picked up from Luki. Uh, not too bad. I go on there from time to time, see what deals I can find, and sometimes I hit a pretty good deal. And last is what I got off of Facebook. Now, I paid more than what I would have liked to have paid, but it comes out to be a pretty decent deal, I reckon. I ended up paying $130 for this lot. Uh, I picked up Star Ocean to the end of time. King of Fighters 11. Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 2. Arcane of Heart. Ring of Red. Battle Assault 3 featuring Gundam Seed. And the one that really cost me the most in this lot, which completes my trilogy for this series, Xenosaga 3. So that's been my latest pickups. Uh, all in all, it wasn't too bad. Didn't spend too, too much except for that last pickup. But hey, sometimes you just got to spend the money to get the games you want, you know. But till then, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all keep gaming, keep hunting, keep doing what you want to do. See you next time. Later.